So we're looking at Acts uh, 17, and um, here we, we see Paul is, uh, really we can see Paul is a seed scatterer. That's, that's, that's how you can refer to him. He's, uh, he goes into every place, and, and he, he basically does the same thing. He, he, he goes to the Jews, and, and he offers it to the Jews first, because um, they, they understand the scripture. Uh, it, it's easy for him to present it to them. Uh, because they have that understanding of scripture and um, if they reject them then he moves on to the Gentiles and he doesn't care whether they're they're learned not learned uh, he doesn't care whether they're rich or they're poor uh, he doesn't uh, you know God is no respecter of, of person um, he, he just so today we, we find you know he's he's at the place where he's presenting what they considered a, a new teaching and Paul just presented it he just presented to the flat earth, this is what it is. And I can't say he didn't care that the, the, the people didn't accept it, um, but it never stopped him. It, 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 he just, he, he went on regardless. Nothing would discourage him. Uh, those who were willing to accept would accept, and those who didn't, it didn't. And it, it was as simple as that. And uh, Paul wasn't, Paul wasn't going to end everything because... Uh, a city rejected him, or a group rejected him, or a judge rejected him, or learned uh, people rejected him, or, or anything of the sort. And it was never a complete rejection. There was always some kind of seed that, that was planted there, and from there a church would grow. Although we don't hear anything further about anything in Athens. I mean, there was no letter that was written to Athens or anything, so we don't know what came of that. But that would have been a, a challenging place, to say the least. Um, because when, when we've made up our minds and we're chasing, when we place the mind above the spirit and we chase after uh, the, the intellectual compo uh, compared to the, the spiritual, uh, instead of giving the, the spiritual supremacy over the intellectual, that's not saying you can't be intellectual, but you can't allow the, your, your, the intellectual, you can't allow the intelligence to diminish the spiritual. The spiritual will always increase the, the intellectual. The, the, is the way it works. So, um, yeah, none of that stopped Paul. None of that. He, 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 he did uh, bring a word according to his, his audience, as, as Jesus did. Um, but he never dismissed anybody. Um, he never limited himself uh, because of who was there. Uh, whether he was talking to uh, governors or whether he was talking to people on the streets, whether he was talking to the uneducated or the highly educated, it didn't matter to him. Um, he, he, he taught Jesus, he taught Jesus crucified, he taught Jesus resurrected, he taught Jesus sitting at the right hand of the Father uh, interceding for us. Uh, he taught uh, salvation by grace, uh, he taught the body of Christ, and uh, these are the things that, that he would present. We have to be seed, um, seed scatterers. Uh, we do it with our life, we do it by setting an example. Paul, Paul was different than us in that he didn't live in any one place very long. Uh, it wasn't like it was his hometown. He was an evangelist. Many of us uh, were in our hometown, uh, were in our places of business. So the, the approach might be a little bit different. Um, we may scatter that seed with our life by the examples that we set, by our kindnesses, by our love, and, and by all that, that sort of thing. Uh, so it could look a little different than, than Paul, but it comes down to the same thing. We give of ourselves to people regardless, regardless. So you can have a great day. Take that into consideration. Be blessed. Be used. Scatter that seed. And let's see what happens with it.